Episode 31 of Reclaiming Britannia with House Brian. A big change of events in our plans to reform Britannia with King Swibney. He died from too much stress from plotting and being evil. Or this is an example of the saying, you reap what you sow being very true. He was out there sowing evil, plotting evil. And uh, the causes of that, the effects of that, the stress got to him and wiped him out. So time will tell if we will see House Brian on the throne of Britannia with our brother-in-law here being second in line and House Brian being on the kingdom of Anatolia through this gentleman here with our sister who is in prison due to the humiliating defeat and the uprising of our vassals led by our duke here in Ulster. He did take the artifact from, uh, from us so we are going to have to find a way to get that Irish chest back for our royal court. Now, there is not all hope is lost as there is still a path for us to form the kingdom of Britannia with High King Matthew, who got the epitaph, the castle builder. We have to usurp the kingdom of England as a whole and then just we'll take all the vassals that come along with it. And we'll have to individually worry about taking these counties for East uh, for this duchy, capital duchy here of Britannia and the capital of England and then that'll make way for us to then go to war for the kingdom of Alba and then vassalize this duchess here who was holding out on the kingdom and that'll bring us enough land to form Britannia now what this is going to cost is gold and we only have 24 gold in our treasury and high king as a high king Matthew as a learned man knows you cannot run a kingdom on an empty treasury so we're gonna go ahead and let this play out develop some lands we got this one right here it's completely empty and this one is uh we just started building that up and it's very low so we can work on the construction and development of these lands in innis to become a very high inc income producing or military focused county or uh castle castle holding like this one we can i'm thinking about making it our archer our archer base here because if we get some uh, workshops that's going to give us some archer damage blacksmiths is going to give us archer damage military camps is going to boost our archer damage and also outposts and, that, and that'll leave us with one extra to get uh some an income producing one or uh yeah maybe uh one of these windmills or water water mills and that's going to give us a huge boost to our archers we do need to sway this vassal we are not swaying anybody and he just got a further decreased opinion of us so we need to go ahead and sway him check out our council okay our spy master has a decent opinion of us and as we did lose um the uprising the civil war for the liberty faction all of those vassals that partook in that war now have hooks on us so i do expect to see many of those vassals using those hooks to negotiate their contracts and get uh, better obligations like see here's the first one right here so let's go ahead and see what her contract looks like now so she got reduced the feudal obligations and as it stands let's go ahead and check this one oh he got fortification rights interesting so he wants to that's fine with us and as it stands our income is severely this is with the, the yeah okay with our sister and the son there for uh, Brittany. Our income is severely reduced because of our character's vow to poverty and him being generous. So we're losing 30% of our income because of those two things there. We can get some... Uh... Oh, that reminds me with the prisoner. We need to oh, invite some knights, but we can't afford them right now. But we can go ahead and invite them just to bring them in court, see who we may want to uh, recruit to our court. And for this one, I need to go ahead and... Oh, let's go appoint somebody somebody a little younger who could live okay they're both 45 because this one is going to give our whole army um plus 10 percent damage as is at this first rank so we do need to find we'll go ahead and make him the successor and this one we also need he's 34 we can go ahead and recruit him as the successor i'm willing to release okay this is for for 30 gold Let's just get these people out. He is generous, our, our character, so he is definitely willing to pay these uh, pay these ransom fees. 
And then as we did get the next um, rank of glory for our primary knight, rank 3 now, we have an option to further recruit and train our armored footmen. And we do have a better spot to place our heavy infantry, getting 5 more damage and 1 more uh, toughness. So we gotta just let this time play out let our treasury build maybe we could invest in one of these buildings here how much would it cost 55 so we could already do that no we cannot we need more time to pass to the hunt i say we go to the hunt yeah we, let's go to the hunt we need uh let's go with this one good and there's still a lot of danger if we go uh higher culture ambassadors and then if we go mercenary there's still a lot of danger what's this one large city plains no I, th I think there's there's too much danger and we don't have enough gold we're gonna have to it would be very beneficial but we're gonna have to let that one go let's get this one up and going again increase the speed of the time and then we could grant another option we could do is we now hold the majority of uh munster once we get 1500 prestige we could add a feudal elective to this duchy here and make this a primary duchy i know we did have plans for the capital of ireland but uh, this might be a very powerful option as well just to keep the capital here as we do have this county now as well okay yeah man and we still haven't got our sister out okay he's evil how much would it 49 okay we'll let some more people come in it seems i have little choice what did he do with his okay he got f lower feudal obligations Okay, I can see this is truly heartfelt. And then what we could do is we could also set our spy master to find the secrets of... Let's go ahead and have him find some secrets. See if we can get any uh, hooks back on those people who altered their um, contracts. Oh, actually, I think only... I'm not sure if one each party of the contract can have one opportunity to renegotiate the contract or if it's just one per life, either side. My recent endeavors within the realm of theology have given me a greater appreciation of God's representatives on earth. Okay, we could uh, go with this one. We're known for dedication of faith. And gold, 73. His opinion and he's greedy, okay? It's going to be pretty tough to get it from him. Okay, our wife is pregnant. We still have some time there. Okay, we're at 100 gold. And we are also taking a decrease because of us being over the domain limit. So if we go ahead... Okay, another one here. What did he do? Oh, we could revoke his title, actually. This C... Okay, he's going down the learning path. Let's go ahead and have him maybe also be a learning. We'll have him go down... What is she? Diplomat? She's better at learning. Okay, we'll also have him go down the that way as well okay he wasn't swayed this is holding our archers and they are getting 21 there they're getting a good amount so what we could do is we could grant this one away as it is severely underdeveloped and oh look at this guy yep we'll go ahead and grant it to him he is our dynasty member he is the grandson of joshua who we were planning to grant the kingdom of scotland to but Swibney died, and then our brother is now ruling over Scotland. Her learning is increased by two. She loses 20 opinion of us. We don't really want that. Dang, she's getting sick. We're, we're going to go with that one. And we do need to work our way towards this sanctioned loop tolls. Um, As she is sick, it may be beneficial for us to go down this way as well. But we're going to we're gonna go down pedagogy because we are raising our player heir. And uh, an opportunity to get him some more skill points would be beneficial. And we could also, what is this? The peasantry of court continues day after day from dawn to dusk. He exemptorizes my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. Nearby, Earl Oscar joins in, playing to the crowd, grinning stupidly and expecting a sign of my favor for his antics. A deep, insistent desire to let the mask slip and tell these people my true feelings slowly builds, gnawing at my mind and distracting my attention. A lone bead of sweat trickles interminably down my brow. Bernhard notices my distance, inquiring, Are you all right, my lord? With almost genuine concern. Forgive me, I have other business to attend to. Very good. We'll just go with that stress loss one right there. 
and we are able to go to war against england but it's only for one county which is i mean it's not bad we will get closer to britannia but do we really want to put him on there i don't think so he led the revolt and uh, let's go ahead and get this character there he is of our dynasty as well okay another knight he's pretty good 31 gold let's do that find him a spouse some of all skills let's go ahead and go with this lady i'm willing to release dang this guy captured all kinds of our people it's another one of our knights let's go ahead and bring in a young lady let me have a look 93 percent chance okay nice and we gain experience for learning okay what is she she didn't have a hook on us that's for the new knight we just got and wells definitely does not like us he's at war now okay so the king of england does not like us because we hold much of his territory um so we would have to be aware of any possible wars that he may want to declare on us but he what's dissuading him from doing that is our two powerful allies in the south to the kingdom of france and, and the kingdom of Brittany, our allies there okay so we have another daughter now let's get her to raise our daughter and make sure we do have a court physician okay and a wet nurse let's go ahead and get a wet nurse and a court tutor and then let's see what's up with these prisoners this guy would be a good knight for us let's go ahead and uh see if we could recruit him this guy we can just release gain a weak hook oh look at this guy he has 20 let's go ahead and recruit this guy as well okay hmm can i concoct an appropriately horrifying we learn of this guy's murder secret okay but he doesn't have a hook on us he's down there this character will just go ahead and ransom this character just demand his conversion this character just demand his conversion let's check out these things here oh we have a rival where is she at this lady's our rival lancaster okay is our family member still here so we could revoke this title she is our rival we do have a, a reason to so i say we go ahead and do that she will not ex accept that's fine we're gonna go ahead and do that revoke her title station our men at arms here and raise up these lads and send them to the capital her capital and then we'll grant it to our house member here okay so she altered her contract low levies okay okay another one yeah this is bad oh look at that he has low, low there okay so we have four months there let's go ahead and do that it does appear she was also in war already okay yeah everybody's using their hooks on us to for their contracts she's a cannibal okay we want to find secrets on our uh the people who use the secrets already on us or hooks on us that's where we want to get the secrets okay this war is over we could ransom him we'll get a little bit of gold and uh, this war is still over as we do have her only territory so let's go ahead and enforce these demands and disband our troops she's our rival and we are sadistic so let's go ahead and revoke this title and then we're gonna grant it to do we have stress we don't have any stress but we get piety which is interesting and then we're gonna grant this title here in lancaster to our vassal and commander but she's of our house so we're gonna go ahead and grant her this title as well it's in the same duchy so we'll allow her to get closer to forming that show him in at once we get gold okay now we're at 300 gold and let's see what this war is going okay this war is almost over he wants to expand out that way that's his Dijord territory that's fine and we could get some more gold here did he build anything in there yet i kind of want to ensure that we start the we'll build some militia camps in there excellent and we do almost have the 500 we need to usurp the kingdom of england and then that gives us the jour uh cast bellies against wales to reclaim these this territory and then we're able to go because he's sadistic and he he is craven but he severely has more troops and military power than his brother the benefit is that he is adding to our renown for the family having uh three kings total one in Brittany, ireland and elba is independent kings for house brian but again our character is sadistic who is this our brother-in-law oh okay this is going to be the future okay this is for the kingdom of Brittany, where uh, it's going to be back under house brian maybe 
possibly in the future form another cadet branch, but uh, we should have named this. Let's go with that one there. Get her. There we go. Excellent. And they got the, the quick trait. And we could build another building here. I'm not sure what we want to build yet. We could go blacksmiths because we have our heavy infantry. And, and they're also going to increase our men-at-arms damage. Let's go there. It's only 63 or 69. Okay, our, our bishop doesn't even believe. That's crazy. For some reason, we can find him a spouse. So let's bring a young lady to our court. He's not swayed. 82% chance. So we'll keep it there. And it does appear they're at war with... Uh, she's a uh, Mercia. So that's our territory. Excellent. So our vassal is expanding into wales increase uh, development growth let's check the development growth there too three years which is really good 21 months 14 months 13 months let's switch it there and we could switch there we go we'll do that and then let's check the growth of our and he has no military i'm gonna lose lands restore station men at arms norway england and alba okay excellent so we got the new fascination discovered let's go for now we can press multiple um claims at the same time and i'm tempted to go for the hoardings as they were able to quickly siege down our capital despite it being four level nine so being able to get the next level of of the castle will be pretty interesting okay our alliance is expired with the kingdom of france development growth 10 would be nice prestige cost okay fabricate claims men at arms how long would it take here 13 years 12 years urbanization which one would be the benefit most for the irish kingdom as a whole let's go the hoardings whoa what he divorced her oh wow because she got lovers pox so let's invite her back to our court then she has a claim where is this uh scotland may your journey be swift and safe oh why is he at war now or sh she's getting attacked here that's not good we're almost able to have enough to usurp the kingdom of england no let's go ahead and check out this uh what's going on here now we cannot so we no longer have a powerful alliance here or a powerful alliance here she is betrothed to oh in france even though he's the brother he would not want to form we don't even have an option even though we have ties with his brother that's interesting so once we invite him to our court we could possibly press his claim for the kingdom as he gets older so we'll go ahead and pin him there he's away on travel for somewhere we got a secret here now let's see what secrets we have he's on landed okay nobody's landed okay this guy let's check if he joined okay now he did use his he did have a hook on us but he used it for fortification rights this guy for sure so let's go ahead and blackmail this guy non-believer secrets okay so now we have a hook so let us go ahead and it's gonna give us point two where is he at oh, he's over here i suppose i could part with it you will become the owner of that okay so it's to change the now we won't do that so we're just gonna go ahead and modify this contract to get some feudal obligations there oh no yeah see okay so it's only one per life not one per party so even if okay that's whack so we cannot renegotiate that he has 21 months there he's still finding secrets he's trying to bring in some new knights he's got domestic affairs and we're not switching anybody to catholicism we're right here we'll start with this county Did the okay so the earl has passed the one who led the rebellion against us has now passed and the land is now split so he wants to be on our council, but he is not able to. And he's sickly. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And we have a son. Would we be able to get... We can go with Poland again. Sicily as well again. I don't think I would mind Poland. Poland was pretty strong. 14,000. But he's super old. They're king, so that alliance will expire very quickly. Oh, we do have enough. I just noticed... We do have enough to form the Kingdom of England. So I think we are going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But we would need... Oh, hold up. We have enough prestige now to almost put a 
elective law on the Duchy of Munster. She has a where? That's against Wales. Where is it? Oh, okay. So it's the one being sieged. Who is it being sieged by right now? That is something we could do. This guy's a pretty solid character too. Okay, let's go ahead and say, give me one year and I'll press your claim. He's completely wiped out. He's facing two armies. Oh, actually. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, that's the one our vassal is going. Okay. So we're not going to be able to press that claim. We're going to expand this way anyway. And our brother, I think we need to go to war for this now before he forms an alliance. And then we're not able to because of our craven character. So he is significantly more powerful with this alliance as well. Um, I say we go ahead and press it now. She is unmarried, so he could marry her. So let's go ahead and usurp this kingdom title. The, okay, so let's see if we could... Um, let's see if they will vote for our character. I don't think he is. I think we're going to lose that. So we need to destroy that title, actually. It says he's in first. Now it's adjusted. So none of our vassals like us. So we're going to need to go ahead and destroy this title. That uh, elective law for England. Let's go ahead and remove it for 750. And now our player heir is set to inherit the kingdom of England. Now this is... Oh, interesting. So they become independent. So we can now declare war. Oh, that is interesting. So now we can declare war for these claims here. And we can move our capital to London. This is very nice. Let's see. If we seize all de jour land, we will gain these contested titles. Oh, look at that. I think we're going to do that. And then we can grant these lands away. He, ha oh, he has 7,000 troops. And who is this? He's of Norway. So he does have that one ally. We are allied. Okay, let's go ahead and find one alliance to fulfill this role play for our craving character to go to war. Because he does have 7,000. We nearly have double, but he has 7,000. Dang, he's in debt. So that would be very selfish, but I think we might just do it anyway. <laughs> what about the king of Lotharingia? This, however you say that. He's 58, so he's also going to pass. He doesn't have any children. What about Burgundy? Burgundy has plenty of young daughters, and she is only 36. She's very young. 14 is married. This 9-year-old. What about her with our six-year-old son oh will not accept too many existing alliances she doesn't like us how much would that be do we have stress we don't you will lose 150 and we're gonna raise our whole army we're gonna need that gold so his primary title is up here and he does have enough to buy mercenaries let's just let it play out for now i think we just go to war against our brother for this kingdom title here and that'll severely severely that would greatly increase our monthly income and then to pacify scotland under house brian rule although it already is un under house brian's rule under king matthews so we can go ahead and just vassalize cornwall or if she's not willing okay so we're gonna have to go to war for those claims there we could get a quick victory here oh he's of the original house of normandy that's tight he does own this land let's go to do a quick war here and we can grant this away that'll be a very quick war just raise up these gentlemen and who is leading okay he's a 28 let's go with this one we'll get some uh glory gain for our, our knights we could force him to be a knight he has 16 prowess what kind of one huntsman what would bernard get us stalwart and blade master this blade master one would be nice because of our irish character traditions only the strong where that blade master trait gets us additional bonuses so if we actually make this the primary one where each of our heirs and our characters can get this trait i think it'll be pretty powerful for the irish but for the whole irish kingdom will be ben more beneficial as the tactician for the men at arms counter efficiency that will be more beneficial for the whole kingdom rather than just the king but we'll leave that one open i'm not sure what we want to do with that one yet let's just get this battle but let's check where they're at first let us see okay they're at 177 and they're at 751 they got 30 glory gain there and a good decent amount there as well okay this is for our sister and brother-in-law okay this is the future king of Brittany right here so let's go ahead and name him oh i don't know how to pronounce any of those 
Let's go after, uh, let's go George. Have her raise up George. Let's see this guy. Who is this lady? Right here, this lady's perfect. The mom. Say what you want, but okay. This is for our daughter. Who may possibly be the future queen of France. Zealous, ambitious. We'll go ahead and make her ambitious. As she may be the queen of France, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We got this war here. Okay. How much longer do we have here? We have two more months. A year there for Innis. Domestic affairs. How is our sway going? We'll leave this one let go for four months. And then we'll switch the sway of who we're swaying. It's a risk worth taking. We could use some more prestige, but... Where is this at? Oh, okay, that's... No. We'll just leave it at that one. This war is almost over and we almost expanded our territory by one. Let's disband our army. And now he is our vassal. He does not like us. And we'll have our antiquarian convert his faith. Nope. We'll leave him to his own. He is now under our rule and he can go to war against Wales if he so pleases. We will need to take care of Northumbria. They did lose a little bit of troops he does have a press claim on ours so once we do make him a vassal he we could also just wait till he passes we have only have double his troops is she willing to become our vassal now no did we make another alliance we do not okay so we need to make an alliance here poland sicily and that's way too far antiquain oh that's in valencia okay no these are too far what about um norway nope Denmark, 55 years old. Sweden's 25. He has a four-year-old daughter. Let's go ahead and go with Sweden. See if we can get, get her married to our son. And he will not accept. Oh, because he has no sons already as it is. Okay. So I think we will wait then to take out this vassal. Oh, we weren't able to keep a... Oh, wow. He granted, a, he granted this land away. Okay. So when we press this claim... This guy is sneaky. So when we press this claim for this duchy, we're not going to inherit London because he doesn't inherit, he doesn't control it. A vassal does. So this person will become our vassal. So he, he's sneaky. He, he played us right there. And our brother, our gracious atheist brother right here for Innis. This port here also has one more building slot. That's 300 gold. We could focus on the development once uh once we gain control of these lands here how many more counties away okay we need 28 more counties so if we actually if we leave this we can let him hold this territory we'll take over this territory and then he won't even have the capital of his own land and his primary heir won't even inherit the capital of his own duchy so we're gonna go to war against this character here Okay, he has that 4,000 alliance and that 2,000 alliance. Okay, so we need to form one more alliance before we go to war. We'll have her go down this one here. Find spouse with a child of Poland. Okay, right here's Poland. I say we go bring in Poland and he will accept a matrilineal marriage. So now we have an alliance with Poland and that is enough for us to declare war against the Duke of Northumbria. And that is what we will do. Well, is he willing to accept vassalage? No, no, he's not. Okay, so we're going to go. Oh, we can seize all of the du jour lands. Let's just go for this one duchy, though. For now, at least. That way, we don't have to worry about the whole uh, war target. As our money will decrease pretty fast. So we'll just go for this one here. Let's start that war. And then now let's invite the king of Poland before he passes. And our ally here in Brittany, unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of... Uh, gold but then let's go ahead and raise them up here raise them up here at Dunholm and let's go ahead and start this war our two allies have joined us in this battle and his two allies have joined us in this battle so 35,000 troops versus 15,000 troops where's where's our sieging men at they are here let's send them there and see where his troops are going to be at oh he can raise them down here huh okay this is his ally right here there they okay they're gonna head south and which is fine with us we're gonna go straight for his capital after this one here three months they have ten thousand troops total there let's see where they're okay they're going there let's go for a run ah uh, probably should have went poet he's a learning man 
but he's a reader writer we should have went poet six months there oh they're gonna take the capital and get 44 loot we'll just help him siege it down quicker oh interesting no he can't join he's our vassal let's siege that down we have 38 days there they got one county as well that one's three years so that's gonna give us plenty of time he's 46 no we could also form find an alliance here Sicilian. everybody's greek he's scottish but he's of our dynasty and she has smallpox or lover's pox we don't really want to do that let's just bring somebody in this guy's a good knight let's go ahead and do this guy scholarly circles learning for devotion this war is not over let him finish that siege there we just bring our army here oh he has two so we're gonna need to finish that siege there actually let, uh, let's split this army we're gonna need only we'll take fourteen thousand men here and then them will come engage in battle they're already coming up to engage in battle so oh britney has been called elsewhere he's gonna go defend okay so we are without seven thousand troops they have fifteen thousand yeah we have enough to for this victory here what evil is he planning let's go ahead and get our knight married real quick and then let's engage them in battle here we caught him oh snap we only caught some of them i don't think the rest of them are going to join but we do have the poles defending our sieging army here which is good they're going to pursue them and uh we'll see we'll see if they have enough time to get no okay they don't okay excellent so the poles were defending our sieging army we were able to go there so let's go up north cut them off from our besieging army and then let's go attack their main army here nice so we are engaged with their main army hopefully this will push us to that 100 percent war score excellent so there it is we have now 100 percent war score and now we control these lands that's just gonna okay now it's now england is looking a lot more green so king matthew is expanding his realm subduing it under house brian's rule one by one forming these strategic alliances to form britannia we need 25 more counties and i think he is eyeing the kingdom of alba next once his treasury builds up a little bit more that's gonna be it for this episode 31 thank you all for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace